What is ECLAC and what does it do? Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. On October 24, 1945, after World War II, the countries of the world founded the United Nations with four main pillars. To maintain international peace and security. To promote fundamental human rights to promote justice and respect among nations, and to promote social progress. Under the last pillar, the UN Economic and Social Council was created and was comprised of five regional commissions, Africa, Europe, Asia Pacific, Western Asia, and Latin America and the Caribbean. The Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC, was created on February 25, 1948, in Santiago, Chile, with the mandate to contribute to the economic development of Latin America and the Caribbean, to coordinate actions aimed at promoting the Commission, and to strengthen the economic relations of countries within the region and with the rest of the world. Argentine economist Raúl Prebisch was ECLAC's main proponent. He drafted the ECLAC Manifesto, which explains the division of the world economic system into center and periphery group. According to Prebisch, the center group is represented by the countries where the world's capital, technology, and wealth is concentrated. Periphery, this is the group of nations that generally produce raw materials and provide inexpensive labor. ECLAC developed the historical structural method. This method analyzes the way in which the institutions and the inherited productive structure condition the economic dynamics of developing countries and generate behaviors that are different from those of more developed nations. ECLAC is an organization that conducts applied research of excellence and provides technical assistance to the governments of the region in order to formulate and monitor public policies. Additionally, ECLAC trains public officials within the region. ECLAC works in four thematic sectors, economic, social, environment, and cross-sectors. ECLAC has a presence throughout the region. In addition to its headquarters in Chile, it has two sub-regional headquarters, Mexico, established on June 16, 1951, and Port of Spain in 1966. ECLAC's sub-regional headquarters in Mexico serves 10 countries, Costa Rica, Cuba, El Salvador, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, and the Dominican Republic. The historical focus of ECLAC's sub-regional headquarters in Mexico is and has been the integration of the countries with which it works. This headquarters focuses on six main thematic areas. International trade and industry. Supports countries in the design and execution of trade and industrial policies, including services, by strengthening value chains and the contribution of science and technology to them, with a focus on international entry and regional integration. Economic Development Prepares studies with a macroeconomic perspective, addressing topics such as inflation, financial stability and inclusion, fiscal performance and debt, macroeconomic policy coordination, external sector, and foreign investment. Climate change. The objective is to contribute to the design of public policies that promote inclusive and sustainable adaptation to climate change. Integrating the transition to more sustainable economies and reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. Agricultural development seeks to contribute to the design of public policies that promote the sustainable 
and inclusive development of the agricultural sector and food system, with special attention to climate risk and food and nutritional security. Energy and Natural Resources provides technical assistance on issues related to the development and management of energy and natural resources. This is done in accordance with requests received from the countries. Research is organized around two main thematic areas, sustainable development and energy integration. Social development generates statistics and conducts research to identify and analyze the characteristics, magnitude, and dynamics of inequality gaps in the following areas. Social, poverty, education, health, housing, employment, security, and societal protection. Territorial, rural, urban, marginalized. Demographic, gender, childhood, youth, elderly, indigenous, Afro-descendants, migrants, and the disabled. The countries of the subregion face new and major challenges, such as increasing human mobility, violence, and land defense and feminist movements. ECLAC's subregional headquarters in Mexico will continue to support governments and their people in their efforts to identify sustainable solutions that are adapted to the reality of each nation.